Today I am sharing with you how I sharpen my pencils. It really is as boring as it sounds. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. I'm asked this question often enough, I figured I should finally just make a vlog about it and that way I can share the link every time someone new asks me. How do I sharpen my colored pencils? And before I get started, I'm just going to go ahead and answer this question because I know a lot of people are going to comment on this. A lot of people live by this rule of you should only sharpen a pencil with an X-Acto knife. If that's how you want to sharpen your pencil, go for it. I have no problem with that. But it's not for me. If I were to use an X-Acto knife, I would end up chopping off my fingers, which would pretty much prevent me from ever using pencils again. I don't enjoy playing with knives. I want to use a pencil sharpener. So today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my pencils. I'm going to start with how I sharpen my Prismacolors. Now I don't personally use Prismacolor anymore unless I'm doing a comparison video, but they are the biggest drama queen. So if I don't let them go first, I have a feeling they'll just start splitting and cracking in the storage box across the room. So let's just avoid their little tantrum and start with them. For Prismacolor, I use this Derwent electric sharpener. I love this thing. I will have a link below in the video description. It's under $15 and it runs on batteries. I've used every handheld pencil sharpener that Prismacolor makes and every other company, and I just had horrible results with the breakage because of quality control issues, and you guys know my opinion there. If you haven't seen it already, I will put a little card here that you guys can click on if you want to see my experience with Prismacolor. But this definitely made such a difference. Like, huge, huge difference in how much breakage I was getting. As long as I sharpen in an electric sharpener, I don't see the problems quite as severe as I did before, both with the breakage and with the wood casing slitting. This sharpener has some adjustments that you can make to determine how sharp that lead is going to be. For Prismacolor, I recommend using one of the wider angled settings. That way your lead isn't too long and it's going to be less likely to break than if you sharpen it with a really, really long tip. For all my other colored pencils that are much less dramatic, I use handheld sharpeners. My favorite right now is this one by Coombe. I will have a link to this in the video description as well. This one has a magnesium inner core sharpener, whatever. It just works good and it has a little barrel for catching your shavings, which I clearly need to dump. This one also has two pencil sizes, which is great if you're using wider pencils like the Luminense. For both of these sharpeners, I will sharpen a graphite pencil quite often, which will clean off the blades and make your sharpeners last longer. I love fine detail in my work. So I want my pencils to be really, really sharp. But if I had to sharpen each of my pencils just to get that tip a little bit finer, I would eat through my pencils like crazy. So when I have a lot of that lead left on the tip of the pencil, but it is lacking that fine point, I will use a piece of sandpaper, normally about 300 grit, and I will just drag the pencil across it on the edges and that will bring back that fine, fine point again. That helps my pencils last a lot longer than if I had to actually run it through a sharpener every time I wanted the tip to be pointed again. When I sharpen my pencils, I do so with a really light hand. You don't need to jam it in there and use a lot of pressure. When I twist it, I'm holding the pencil firm and I'm twisting the sharpener itself more. It makes it easier to keep even pressure on the pencil throughout. I got in the habit of doing that with my Prismacolors because it did help tone down the breakage. I've never had one of my Polychromos or my Luminance break, so I probably don't need to do that. It's just a habit that I've developed. And that is it. I told you it wasn't very exciting. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus. all those social media sites. Links are below in the video description to keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I am currently working on. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.